Hello everyone, Just Seb here, back with a new video, um, and in today's video I am reviewing, um, so today, let, let me explain, today I was, I, I went to the mall, I, I went to the mall, um, it's one of those mills malls, uh, you know, those mill, like, blank city mills, uh, that they have all around the country, uh, there's some in, like, California, some in, like, Arizona, or some shit like that. Um, and I went to one in Texas, um, I'm not gonna say which one, because I don't really want to dox myself, um, but, basically, um, I, they're in, in these malls, which are, by the way, the shittiest malls in the world, um, they're absolutely the shittiest malls in the world, awful, awful quality, um, across the board, one of the most depressing places in the world, um, I said it was the most depressing place in the world, and my brother said Uganda, and I said, I think Uganda is less depressing than um, uh, any one of these mills, malls. Um, but basically, in their malls, they have uh, little stands in the middle. You know the, you know the mall stands in the middle. Um, and these sell uh, cologne and or, and or perfume. Um, and, man, I, I'm, I'm a lover of all fragrances and stuff like that. But when I went to this, when, when I went to this little area... I wasn't expecting, like, the best quality. I was expecting your, like, regular $20 colognes, like your, I don't know, Nautica Voyages, whatever the hell, right? But instead, I see a bunch of ripoffs, and it, and it amazed me how many ripoffs of well-known fragrances there are around here. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy, really. Um, and today, I bought um, a Versace Arrows clone. I bought it for $10, which... Um, now I think about it, it is a total ripoff. Um, he said forty dollars at first, um, which is you know fucking insane. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna pay forty dollars for a Versace Arrows clone um, in in a mall. I'm I'm not gonna do that. Um, but then he whittled it down to ten dollars, which I think he just highballed me at first, um, and then went all the way down to you know ten dollars, which is still uh, a ripoff. Um, uh, but let's see. This is how it is. It's called Lion Versatile for Man. Eau de Toilette Vaporizer Spray. Three and a, three and a half fluid ounces. Um, three and a half fluid ounces of that shit. Um, ingredients. All, alcohol, denat, water, fragrance. That's it. Alcohol, water, and fragrances. Alright, well, um... I don't know what to expect. I've actually bought a fragrance from uh, that little area. Um, it's this. It's have a scent. Smells like Creed Aventus, which is my favorite cologne of all time. Uh, and uh, actually, it's honestly not too bad. Um, it smells a bit like Creed Aventus. It's like an oil-based thing by have a scent. Um, and it smells like it. It smells like Aventus, I guess. Um, and it's not awful, but that's something completely different. No, this has its whole box. It's by EBC Collection. Um, and, uh, flammable. Not, I don't know what else to expect. Um, I'm gonna compare this to... Never fucking mind, I don't actually have uh, Versace arrows anymore, which, you know, I, th I thought I did, but I don't. Um, so, damn, alright, uh, let's just open this up, I have nothing to expect, uh, really, I'm expecting the lowest of quality right here. Um, oh, Jesus Christ, alright, we got a bad start already, this cap is the shittiest little plastic ever made, I could bend it right now. Um, and it came off immediately, so, here it is, oh, why is it already dirty and shit, oh, gross, gross, um, look at this cap, shittiest little cap in the entire world, I mean, it looks kind of like a, it looks like a Versace Heroes, um, it has like a lion right there, it's, the, honestly, the best quality you're gonna get out of this cologne is the actual bottle itself, which is surprisingly glass. I was expecting just pure plastic like this cap. Um, and what about this? Mm -hmm. Oh. I, I couldn't smell that. Whatever, it doesn't matter. 
So, um, first impressions. I don't know. I mean, looks okay. It doesn't look bad. Let's, uh, let's go. Spray it. Oh. Oh. Pure alcohol. I don't know what else I expected. It's just pure alcohol. Oh. Also, let me compare this cap. Look at this. This cap. I can't even look. I can't even hold it from that high without it coming off. Let me compare that to an actual, like, normal bottle. David Rock Cool Water. Yeah, that shit's not supposed to happen. Um. Oh, it's awful. Oh, mm, it smells like, you know, it smells like, um, uh, alcohol mixed with a nice, refreshing bit of, um, asshole. Um, Jesus Christ, that smells like an Egyptian fart. Jesus Christ. That is not, that is not good stuff. Um, I mean, I don't know what else I expected. It does not smell like Eros at all. Not even a little bit like Versace Eros. Um, not even close. I mean, I guess it kind of has that light playfulness. Not playfulness, but like sexiness. Fuckboy-esque nature of, you know, Versace Eros. Um, it's called Lion Versatile, which I just realized. Um, Versace Eros has a line, and it's vers No, it's Versace Versatile. It's just really dumb. Oh, it doesn't even smell like an EDT. It smells like the... Oh, it's awful. Oh, I can actually... There's... A, like, it, it's burning my nostril. So, yeah. Don't... Don't buy from these little shitty mall... Mall little kiosks. Don't ever do it. Jesus Christ. All I'll really be getting out of this is... First of all, it has a wonderful, amazing cap. Um, I'm just kidding. No, it absolutely doesn't. I guess the bottle is still nice. I mean, it's 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 not plastic. It's a glass, which uh, I guess they thought that uh, the bottle of the cologne, of the fragrance, was more important than the actual fragrance itself, which is not true. Um, anyways, that's it for this little quick video. That's my first video in like a whole year, but yeah. Anyways, bye.